Enter a vehicle right from your desk with the interactive HMI database screens. I can use the shortcut to check out the different media sources. We have three radio options consisting of DAP, FM, and AM stations, two USB ports, as well as two Bluetooth devices. We can mute or unmute the radio station, use a favorites list where we can save favorites from different kind of radio stations. We're now going to play some music and then switch to USB. USB offers play and pause. I could move on to the next track. Let's switch to Bluetooth audio. Again, we can pick between player pause or up next. I can tap the tile in the hat unit and jump directly to the media menu or I can go back to the home screen, then pick apps, scroll down and choose media. Similar to the shortcut function we've just looked at, we can find our sources in the upper left. I can connect up to two USB devices and two Bluetooth devices. DAP, FM and AM radio stations are permanently available. All of them are structured in the same way. Again, we can save favorites from all of the different radio stations. We could in this case, for example, add DAP and then go back to our list and see the different stations saved. So let's go back and start the play mode once more. As you've just heard, we switch to USB 1 and if we pick Browse, we can choose different types of categories. I can use the search function above to look for a specific artist, genre or track. If we click Up Next, we can create our own upcoming track list. So let's listen to some music. USB number two works exactly the same. Let's move on to Bluetooth next. You might have noticed it already, Bluetooth looks almost exactly like USB, except for browse and a missing search function. The different sources always take us to a specific track. Up next, I can pick a track so we can start the play mode. Different than what we've seen with USB devices, we cannot fast forward or rewind manually. Back to the home screen and we're done.